A ribosome is, remember, it's made in the nucleolus, in the nucleus, and it's actually made of ribosomal RNA and some other stuff. And if we were to look at an actual image of a ribosome, what? That's it right there. That is so amazing. And then now I'm going to draw you a picture of a windified ribosome because shouldn't we all have a windified ribosome written down somewhere? Okay, if you insist, I'll windify that ribosome for you. You betty. An actual ribosome, we totally, if we knew what we were looking at, we could see it in that previous picture, but an actual ribosome has two subunits, a large subunit, and a small subunit, and it has special sites. It has the E site, the P site, and the A site. And I remember this as ape. Some people remember it as the EPA. Ape works for me. Now watch. I'm going to tell you now what these stand for, even though it's going to be a little bit like, really, why do we need to know this? But um, this will come in handy to kind of be able to visualize what they stand for and what their purpose is when we get to the process of translation itself. Okay, A stands for arrival. Oh, no, I don't know if it actually stands for arrival, but it's the arrival of the amino, uh, ugh, amino acid. Okay, so an amino acid is going to arrive in this place. I think, um, I don't know if that those are real words. I think it is the amino site where amino acids come. P is the peptide site. This is where, peptide is another word for protein. So this is where our growing protein is going to hang out and chill. And E is the exit site. And all of that is significant for the actual process. So I'm giving you some landmarks. This is like a map to understand the process when we get there. There's somebody else who's important that we don't know yet, and that is the transfer RNA molecule, also known in Windyland as the truck. 